you have been sending me texts about yeah. Mitchell and what he stands for, and I don't want to talk about him as if he's not here, but... Yeah, you well, have, you know, I, I said I'll bring somebody on as a guest. You know, it's always fun to bring somebody on, and we're here in Kansas City, and, and thank you for doing this. Uh, I can't say it enough. This is amazing that you brought your whole show here. Whole show is here in Kansas City in support of Big Slick, and we appreciate it very much. You better. But when I said I wanted to bring a guest on, I'm like, well, I want to bring on who I wanted to be when I was a kid, and that was an offensive lineman for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I've got, been fortunate enough to get to know Mitchell and know what, what a good guy he is and what a great player he is. So I wanted to share this moment with, uh, with the right tackle uh, for the Chiefs, my favorite football team. Not that I need to tell anybody that. Yeah, right. yeah I mean, it's, uh, it's really cool. I got to know him, uh, I guess, at the end of last year, and uh, we hit it off right away. We, we both of, like food. We both like food. We have a lot of shared interests. He asked me where I got my meat, and we go to the same meat guy. He goes uh, to the same butcher here in Kansas City. I said, hey, a serious question, though, Mitch, where do, you, where do you buy your meat in Kansas City? He's like, oh, this place called Bicklemeyer's. And I'm like, okay, you're in. You're good. So, because I know how seriously you take your Kansas City uh, food, yeah. uh, Eric. You, know, you I, do. Yeah, you know. I do know. You have actually cooked for me. Yes, You've I have. actually handed me your actual fruits of your cooking labor <laughs> of I my loins you have well i mean hold on a second um yes in a way no question about that but you guys go to the same butcher here we do in yeah city yeah, yeah. which so, is i mean when i got here i like to cook um i was confined to an apartment in my previous life and i got here i got a house got a whole backyard set up i mean this guy's got the greatest backyard setup you could ever imagine for cooking and He's sending me videos all the time, different different stuff to try. And um, the, the text exchange between <laughs> me and him and some of his other offensive linemen are, that are into smoking is hilarious. Like, one night I put a brisket on, and it was like we were kind of coordinating with the time difference of putting a brisket on around the same time. And I woke up to check my brisket and texted Mitch at 4 in the morning L.A. time, which was Kansas City 6 a.m. time. And I told Lindsay, my girlfriend, I'm like, I texted Mitchell Schwartz in the middle of the night about a brisket. Like what and is I going responded. on? They, <laughs> responded. For whatever reason, I was up at that exact time, and we were because I was doing a brisket the next night. So we kind of throw ideas off each other, see see what we do. I think he was doing like a 24-hour. Oh yeah, super slow. It got all jiggly hours. and gooey, and the bark was perfect. Mitchell Schwartz of the Kansas City Chiefs and Eric Stone Street of Modern Family here in our Big Slick Show. Hour number three from the home of the Kansas City Royals. Are you playing softball later on tonight too, Mitchell? I'm not. Um, you know, I stick Does to Andy my Reed own sport. Puts, he puts the I grew up on playing that, baseball, actually. Um, come on now. Well, yeah. I'm kind of a big guy, so when yes, I was growing are. up, I was big and I threw hard, and then you kind of reach a plateau and top out at 80, and the hitters start to catch up pretty soon. So, okay. so here's a cool thing, a coincidence, Mitch, Mitch and I have in common. So he went to Pally High in Los Angeles. Coach Cam on Modern Family is the junior high football coach at what is Pally High. So he went to school where Coach Cam coaches football. <laughs> yeah, I like literally play football at the school. On he the coaches field football. that I coach football on. Well, we, we, up, we upgraded the turf. Yeah, you do have good turf. Back, back then it was a lot of dirt and not much grass, but they got the cool turf field. Oh, man, that's great. Thanks for coming here, Eric. Oh, this nope. is, no, thank you. No, oh, please. I can't tell you, you guys, uh, you're not going to want to hear this, but I have to tell you guys watching. The fact that he came up with this and was like, I want to do the show from there. I want to promote Big Slick as much as I can. This is a true gentleman, and you're a good, you're a good man, and, and you're, you're, I, we really appreciate it. Good. And hopefully this will help us raise more money for Children's Mercy Hospital here. It's a great hospital. We just spent two hours there visiting kids, and uh, what you're doing has a meaningful impact, uh, so we thank you. Well, I only follow your example, sir, because you're not just uh, talking about it. You're being about it, as you and everybody else does every single year. Um, so thank you for coming on. I will see you later tonight, you. Eric Stone Street. And you, Mitchell Schwartz, uh, to you, a fellow member of the tribe, I say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you too. Thank I, you. I, I, say, fun. I say to you. Yeah, I know. Member of the tribe. No, not that oh. Not that tribe. Oh, yeah. Oh, the you're part of yeah. the tribe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tribe. I could be in your Look tribe. Look how you're doing the tomahawk chop after I said that. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.